This is our van. Uh, we've called it the TARDIS because inside it seems to be bigger than it really is in reality. Um, we've had this thing for quite a number of years, been uh, as far as Bulgaria uh, to many places in Europe, uh, Northern Ireland, Republic of Ireland, and uh, it's it was absolutely great for a family of six, so my wife and I and our four kids. And uh, these days, it's just my wife and I, because all our kids have their own vans now. Uh, they got the bug. But being a, an old 94 model, uh, there are some structural issues that we need to take care of. Mechanically, it's great, but uh, there are some structural issues which I'm going to take you through now. So I'm uh, Roger. Welcome to our, our channel, uh, Off Grid Van Life. And I hope the, that you find this somewhat interesting. It's a little bit different from our usual stuff about batteries and actual van builds and that, but I think this is appropriate for many people who would have an old legacy van that they just can't seem to want to get rid of. Well, if you watched a previous uh, episode, you would uh, remember that we have a problem with this wall pulling away. So it's actually moving quite substantially. <clears throat> and it's from about here to here that the whole thing is moving away. Inside, this is where our toilet is and our shower. And inside, you can see a big gap. And if you can see in the film how much it's moving when I push it back in. So we've been uh, studying this so that uh, we don't make a mistake for several weeks now. And what we think we're going to do. So you, the gap here is quite noticeable because it's pulled away. And we're going to drop a, a plank of wood down onto the floor, screw it down. And we've got a big uh, channel bar, well, a square tubing of um, aluminium. We're going to put it starting about there, ending about here. And we're going to actually bolt it through with uh, eight mil thread bar uh, to the uh, metal structure in, inside the locker here. So we're going to be getting into this, this locker. <coughs> And through there is a metal, a metal uh, structure for for the seating area. So we're going to take uh, drill a, a, an eight mil all the way through to there from here, and uh, inside this locker, and we can get to it from inside the van. Uh, there's the structure for the seat belt, for, so that the, the passengers sitting on this seat here can use seat belts. Legal regulations, obviously. So we're going to bolt it in there screw it down here and bolt it in there with a the thread bar and pull the whole thing back. <clears throat> We're also going to look to see this. This would be the wall for the, the cupboard inside there over here. We're going to actually put something on the wall so we can pull it um, as hard as we can. And then this wall here, that uh, leaves the top and you can see even the top is moving quite a lot. The whole thing moves. Uh, more than it should. So we're going to, the locker goes here and here, the two walls. We're going to actually uh, fix it in a few places, probably one here, maybe two there. And yes, uh, they'll, I don't think you'll notice them. They wouldn't look that ugly, but it's going to be essential to actually pull this whole thing to stabilize it. This is the only place really that we can do it here. Um, over here, it doesn't actually, it's not moving away here. It's nice and snug against this wall. So this side, to be honest, is not moving much at all. Uh, just right over here, it's all happening over here. Unfortunately, there's nowhere here that we can actually pull it in because this goes into the bathroom. And uh, <clears throat> uh, this is the top of the shower tray. The shower tray goes down to about there. So there's nothing, nowhere that we can really fasten it in over here. So it's going to have to be screwed in here and here, and that's going to have to do the job, uh, But which I think it will do. Then obviously this back section is is the worst, as you can hear it moving against and closing up the gap as I push it. So I'm going to drop a plank down there, screw it in, measure everything, measure it twice, three times, and get the bar in place, probably hold it in place with some clamps or something while we double check and triple check and then we're going to be drilling great big hole through here through here and at least one through here probably two through here 
Okay, so the first thing we needed to do was to put a piece of wood inside underneath the toilet mechanism here so that we could screw the uh, aluminium bar that we're putting in into that. Mm -hmm. And then we okay. started preparing the aluminium bar. So we put some of this closed cell foam on the side that was going to be going against the van for a couple of reasons. One was that uh, it would help to seal it off nicely, so where we had the holes going in. Uh, and secondly, it was a bit of a cushion, and so just gave some spring uh, to where we were pulling it uh, towards the vehicle. And also with the vehicle ha having an uneven surface, it's that sort of um, textured uh, aluminum sheet on the sidewall. Uh, it just uh, meant that it wasn't just putting pressure on the high points, it kind of covered all of those. So we drilled out the holes using a drill press so we got them nice and straight. And then we started the process of actually putting it onto the side of the van. So put it on, measured, uh, marked, checked everything again a couple of times, measured many times, then clamped it on, and uh, then started the process of actually drilling the holes out to then put the thread bar on and pull it into uh, the beams and the support structure inside the van. And once we'd got it all in, we did the center uh, holes, put the screws in there, and then we tightened everything up, cut the thread bar down just using a little angle grinder, then inspected the work and we're pretty pleased with how it looked. All right, so here we go, folks. We've got the uh, thread bar going all the way through to that metal assembly there to add strength, come through to here. You can see the nut just in there, pulling that nice and tight along there. And then over here, we've got a couple of coach bolts. So I don't know if you can see them in there, uh, but that's pulled this side nice and close. You can see the piece of wood that we put in down there. It's pulled this right up against there. Then we did the same with a thread bar there, and that thread bar goes all the way down there. So this one is at a slight angle. Um, it's just the way that it, we had to do it. Um, just with the lining these up just didn't quite work. Uh, but yeah, overall looking pretty good. Uh, we put some foam behind here just to, so that this piece of metal wasn't directly on this um, sort of corrugated, sort of weird shaped uh, metal. But uh, overall, uh, it's looking pretty good. Um, we'll, what we're gonna do now is tape this up and then spray paint the this uh, metal bar same color as this, as well as the foam. We'll just spray over the top of that as well. And then we'll run a bead of Cycloflex on this foam on both sides, top and bottom, just to seal it all in and uh, make it look nice and neat. Um, but overall, pretty pleased when we push it in there. There's no give whatsoever. Um, very solid. So folks, we've done it. Uh, we've got this bar on here. So this is a 25 mil by 50 mil, so one inch by two inch uh, aluminum rectangular tube. Um, <clears throat> we've uh, fastened it with uh, eight millimeter thread bars going through here to metal structure inside there and also over here. And uh, we pulled this up and that already improved things. And then we, uh, we had mounted a block of wood inside here uh, where the gap was really big we mounted the block of wood and then we've put two uh, veranda bolts into here and pulled it quite tight and it's now completely snug it's against the floor uh, no more give so the, the bottom is actually beautifully stable now um, no give at all on the bottom it's right against the floor all the way and uh, that's that's great uh, no more flex the top may have bowed through time a little bit, so there's a little bit of a gap when you look inside the cupboard. So I'm still, the cupboard walls go here and here. So I'm still going to do something at about this height inside that cupboard. Have a, a stainless disc that'll come out here with a nice uh, stainless steel uh, screw going through there. So that's what we're gonna do over here. Otherwise, um, the structural integrity is great. Uh, I'll be very happy to go on a trip with this now, no problems. Checked inside at the shower, the shower is about here, and the shower is great. No more gap, uh, it's right against the wall. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.